NAND is equipped with direct kind of technology for the equalization and uh, bettering the sound. So let's hear out from them how do we direct tune this entire system. It, it can be done for an AV receiver which is like 758 or a 778 kind of models or even for a two channel the direct is doable and let's hear out from him the major the marketing head himself and let's see what a direct difference can do to these speakers we also would like to show you how to do a very simple straightforward direct setup how easy it actually is because people have seem to have a barrier having to do it when it can be done so easily and you gain so much by it but for now we're going to start with the cs1 and uh, as you can see CS1 is a tiny little simple box. We have three connections for sound, uh, optical and coaxial and analog. There's a network connector and there is a uh, power supply and also a 12 volt. So connecting couldn't be more straightforward than that. Um, when you use the CS1, um, you need to connect it to a network. And with an Android device, it can actually be quite simple. Because your Android device, if it has NFC built in, you hold it in, in its neighborhood, and then the phone will ask you, do you want to connect that device to your network? You say yes, and it will do it. That's done. Uh, alternatively, you use the, um, the, the Google Home app, and then it will scan, it will find it, and then you add it. And with AirPlay, it's pretty much not with Apple, with uh, an Apple device, it's pretty much the same. You go to settings, uh, you go to Wi-Fi, and in Wi-Fi, it'll show up as an Apple compatible speaker, and then you select it, and you're done. And then it will happily play. Ah, thank you. Um, so, very straightforward. I'll, I'll pass this around to you and uh, see how straightforward and simple it is. Um, Playing back music with it, unfortunately what we try to do is to mirror screen, but we can't get Google Cast to work on the TV, and with, uh, with the Apple TV, you can't use uh, a device to stream from and airplay at the same time. I didn't. We'll have to make do with this screen. All in the back, I hope you can read what it says here. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I it. Okay, so uh, so basically what I do is uh, I'll show you Spotify and I'll show you Tidal. I think those two are the things that are being used most. So if I go to Spotify, Spotify starts up. I uh, select a uh, a track and this has, I don't know. Um, so it's playing a track through my phone now. And now I'm going to press the cast button. And there's this long list of devices that are in there. And somewhere in here, there should be a LED CS1. Bear with me. There we go. Oh, it's at the top. So here we go. And now it's connecting. And this is set. So this is now connected analog and digital. So we can do a little comparison uh, side by side. So it will actually tell you what the uh, each ray converter within the device itself is. And it is. Oh, hang on. Uh, I was on line one. The speakers are out of phase. 